Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a review on the Daisy Marquez times BH Cosmetic palette. Now, this is what I came up with, and I actually really enjoyed what I created with this. I normally don't do halo eyes, but today I wanted to do something different and actually do a halo eye because it actually looks so beautiful on people, so I decided why not. But anyways, if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then please keep on watching. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new welcome to my channel my name is Tanya and my channel is all about makeup and yeah it's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial so today guys this is what I created for you I actually really really like this look it's a halo I don't know what I'm gonna call it it's just gonna be like a first impression on um, the Daisy Marquez palette. Now, I've had this when it was released. One of my friends, she's really close to me. Um, one of my friends, she actually bought this palette when it was released. So I've had this for a while, but I haven't had the chance to play with it. And so now that I finally have the chance to play with it, this is where I came up with, guys, right here, as you can see. that's this is what i did um the lashes are actually from wish that actually really enjoy these lashes these lashes are like bitch don't talk to me because i'm fly you know because they're like so long <sighs> i actually really enjoyed how this look turned out and um yeah it's my first time actually playing with this palette i actually really enjoy how it comes with a mirror and it you can like set it up or take it out and be doing your makeup you know sitting down doing whatever and now these these shades are like pigmented as fuck but i do recommend if you guys um use this palette i do recommend doing your eyes before your face because there is a lot of fallout now i use this color right here and it is dream <gasps> and it's just so beautiful guys like Okay, come on. If my there you go, like look at that. Like look at that. Um another shade that I didn't get another shade that I didn't actually get to use was this one right here, and that one is called Stunt, and it's so pretty. Like so, so yeah, guys. Um, I do actually recommend this palette to anybody who hasn't had, who doesn't have their hands on it because it's so beautiful. You can play with so many colors. It's so pigmented and it's just amazing. And I believe it's like twenty three dollars. But yeah, um, if you guys want to learn um, how I got this look, then make sure to keep on watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. <gasps> yes. Okay, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so we are going to use this Daisy Marquez and BH Cosmetics palette. And we're going to start off with the shade Dulce. And we are going to be using the M506, and I'm sorry it's backwards, I did not realize that until I'm going back and editing this video. So, with that being said, we're going to be using this shade, and we're just going to use this as our transition color. And we're just um, starting at the outer V, and just going in circular motions, and we are going back and forth on our... Um, crease line above our crease line and we are also packing the product in so make sure you start off by packing the product in and then slowly blending the product because that will give you some more pigmentation that I actually love 
with I just recently starting do doing this and I actually enjoy doing this just packing the product first and then blending it out which works amazing so just really take your time on the blending and um, The next brush we're going to be using is the M330 and we're just going to be using this just to blend out the shade a little bit better into our eyelid and make sure you have a clean brush. It doesn't matter what brush but as long as it's clean and we're going to be using Bittersweet Shadow and also the next brush is the M507 and as you can see it's a little bit more um, pointed towards the end which is good for the outer V and for the crease line just so we can get that precise pigmentation on there now we're going to start off by patting the product in as well and then blending it out just like we did with the transition color and make sure that you take this um, shade higher than your crease just a little bit higher than the crease line just so the when we cut the halo so it doesn't transfer but yes just using patty motions and just take your time on the blending like always The next step we're going to take is our concealer, which the concealer that I am using right now and currently is the L'Oreal um, True Matte or Concealer. Now, I actually don't know why I've been, I've had this concealer for a while and I've just had it in my drawers, never used it and I don't know why I did it because I actually enjoyed it. This is the first time I am using it and I enjoyed it. I love that little brush that it has and it's just so amazing. So I really enjoyed it and I do recommend this um, concealer. And now we're just going with a, a more precise brush, more of a flat um, brush. Now we're just taking the product and setting it in place. That way there um, aren't any harsh lines and it's not all sticky and transfers over to our lid you know we want it to be nice after we took the time to do our blending and everything we just want it to be good and amazing you know what I mean so the next shade that we're using is dream now this is just a beautiful shade now Daisy you rocked this palette it is so freaking amazing now we are literally just taking the product and actually just um, patting it down just so we can get more for our money kind of thing but yeah just take it in and we're using the same brush as well because it's just a little bit better and a more precise brush so we can get in there you know but yeah 
just take your time on this too this is um, my second halo eye and I actually enjoyed this one and we're taking M507 and we're actually just blending those two shades together that's all we're doing we're going to be blending those shades together and take your time on that as well because it is a little bit time consuming and you don't want to mess up your look after you are almost done with it so yeah So the next shade that we're using is Icy and we're going to be using almost the same brush but we're going to be applying it on our brow bone and our inner corner and as you can see look at how freaking amazing and painted this shade is. It is just so amazing and so gorgeous. I freaking love it. Now Daisy, like I said before, this palette is just so freaking amazing and another thing is there is not that much fallout for this palette but there is a enough for you to like mess up your whole face if you do your face first so I do recommend just doing your eyes first and then your face now these lashes are freaking to die for I got them from Wish now also, I did a video on these lashes, so if you guys haven't checked that out, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and check it out because it was only a dollar. The product was free. I only paid for shipping. So guys, with that being said, thank you all for watching. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.